what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to rank in google maps watch this All right, guys, I hope everybody's doing great. Let's get right into it. Let's rank in the Google Maps, in the Google 3-pack, in Google Business Profile. Let's get ranked. So today I'm going to use the example Locksmith, Sarasota, Florida. We're currently working on a client in this area, and I just want to go over a couple of things that we're doing to help you. So this is the most clicked on area on Google right here this is the google three pack right in this area and you want to be located in this area if you're looking for a brand new business new leads so the first thing that you should do you know just go to google and just type in the area that you're trying to rank in whether it's sarasota or tampa florida or san diego california you get the idea and not you don't do the whole state like california you do san diego California. You don't do all of Florida. You do Sarasota, Florida, wherever you're located. You'll notice that when you type in your area, your city, you'll notice there's a red line that goes around your city. You can see it right here. And this is Sarasota, Florida. So the reason why I do this first is because this is the only place where you need reviews, backlinks, content, talking about things in this area, jobs you've done in this area. It really makes it a lot easier if you're just worried about this area in the red line rather than the whole state or even worse, the whole world getting links and getting reviews. Let's just worry about this area because we are trying to rank right here in the Google three pack. This is the area that's getting the most clicks. So we need to show Google that we're relevant in this area only. Make sense so far? Hey guys, if you like what you're hearing in this video, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel grow. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do, you need to get an SEO grid program. I have an affiliate link in the description below. I get a small cut from that, it doesn't cost you anymore. I happen to like Local Falcon, very easy to use. You could go to another service called localdominator.io. You could go to local Viking. You could go to bright local. Okay, so we have the area, right? We're only talking about this area, the city that we're trying to rank it. Now, the way that we rank websites is threefold. I call it the triangle method. We have the website, the Google business profile, and what clients are saying about you. So to make it easy, we're gonna speak about red shoes, red Nike sneakers. Let's say it like that red Nike sneakers. We're going to say that the website has a page about red Nike sneakers. We're going to say that on the Google business profile, we post events, we talk about red Nike sneakers, and then somebody gives us a review about red Nike sneakers. When those three add up, you will start to show up right here in the Google three pack in Google maps, right in this area. Okay. How do we do that? How does it happen? So there are two types of websites. There are national brand websites, meaning like Costco and Home Depot, right? They service the whole nation. And then there are uh, city brands, like a, uh, a local locksmith, a local fence install, a local garage door, right? You have to make sure that when you're setting up your website, and I'm gonna show you the difference, that you add the GMB category on the homepage and you add the city that you're trying to rank in. So if I'm trying to rank a locksmith in Sarasota, every Everything should be about Locksmith and Sarasota on the homepage. Let's take a look at this. This is Alpha Security. Alpha Security cameras and security. I don't know where they're located, right? Intelligent to end solution. And me and my friend Vasilis went over this. Very nice guy. Hey, if you guys need security, give my friend Vasilis a, a call. All right. So this is the alpha guarantee, right? We still don't know where he does business though. He's trying to rank locally. Now we may look at this website and say, yeah, I see that. But what I want you to do is take a look at your website. Most people are still making this mistake. Once again, we provide the highest quality installation. How does it work? How does our cameras and security installation work, right? That's what it should say. Get a free quote on what? On cameras and security, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, because that's the city he's trying to rank evidently right here. Okay. Now let's take a look at the website that we did. This one is not done yet. There's a couple of things that I still want to do. 
too, but you'll get the idea. The GMB category is locksmith. The area we're trying to rank is Sarasota, Florida. So all the tags, all the H tags are going to be about Sarasota, Florida and locksmith. See that? And what you want to do also is you want to double up the phone number, meaning that you have it on the top. You want to add it several times throughout the website because some people may miss it up on top. Uh, areas we serve, locksmith service, right? We want to keep talking about that. What customers say about, not us, we're going to change that, about our locksmith service in Sarasota. Now, what we do is we actually add the last section on the bottom. We actually add about the area that we're working in, which is Sarasota or any city that we're working in. We put that on the homepage. And then we embed the Google business profile map, not the city map, the Google business profile map. You'll notice that when we click that, you know, the difference right away is just, you can see the reviews See over here. You can see it has reviews and it says the name of the business. So they only have one GMB category, which is locksmith. If they had a second GMB category, which is emergency locksmith, that would be my first link would be emergency locksmith because it's the second GMB category. And then I would do my GMB GMB categories going straight down here. Now, they only have one category, which is locksmith. That needs to go on the homepage. Everything on your homepage should be about your GMB category, your first GMB category, and what city you do business in. Now, your first link, since they don't have any other GMB categories, these are all the keyword pages that they're trying to rank for. And then your second set of links are the areas that they serve. And you create a page for each area that we serve. After that, you can put about us, contact us, frequently ask questions doesn't matter. Make sure you put the credit cards that you offer and a nice big phone number. And if they miss it in the upper right, double it up again. I want you to take a look at your website. See how many signals you have. Some people have call us, then they have a form, then they have a chat button, and then they have Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram, right? Don't confuse your clients. Just give them one way to contact you, which is to call. Most people want calls. Once again, when you create your inside pages, your keyword pages, it's everything about area that you service and keyword that you're trying to rank, which is automotive or car locksmith. All the content is about that. Very, very important. You want to use relevant pictures. I know your kids are really cute, but keep them off your website. They have nothing to do with automotive locksmith service. We have the area that we're trying to rank. We're trying to rank in Google Maps over here. Then we took a look at the map. We want to try to get backlinks from anywhere in this area. So, for example, if we could get a backlink by placing a article on the uh, marine laboratory and aquarium or the Sarasota jungle gardens, right? If there's a way to get a backlink on those websites, sometimes they let you advertise for like $25 a year. And if you could get a link on these websites, this will really help you because they're all located within Sarasota. See that? Now, another thing, another trick is if you're getting a review. So we went to go to the uh, Sarasota jungle gardens and I got locked out of my car and uh, I called Athena locksmith and I spoke with Phil and, you know, he was great. He was professional and prompt and on time, right? But you want to mention where you were. So when you give a review, if you could mention one of the places that are in that area, that's going to help your rankings as well. Just make sure you mention the keyword automotive lockout service, for example, if you're trying to rank for that keyword. Now, you'll notice this is North Sarasota. The only way you know that you need to rank in that area is to do a SEO grid. Now, when you do an SEO grid and you notice that you're red in this area for a keyword like a automotive lockout service, right? you know you need reviews in the upper area, in the northern area for automotive lockout service. So when you get your review, you get it for Northern service right up on top of uh, Sarasota. And if you could mention Sarasota Jungle Gardens, it shows Google that that's where you were. That's really important. So the three things that you want to do is you want to make sure that when you create your website that you mention the GMB category, if it's a GMB category page, or if it's a keyword page, and you want to mention the area that you're servicing. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that when you get reviews, you get them from the areas that you need reviews for that specific keyword. And there's no other way to tell them by running a grid report. If you're trying to rank in Google Maps, you need to have a grid program. You cannot 
ranking Google Maps without a grid program. Well, there's actually two more things that you want to get reviews where you're ranking in red, right? So if you're ranking in red for a lockout service in this area, you need reviews in this area for a lockout service. So you want to pick a landmark that's located up here and say that you were locked out of, uh, you know, the Tampa football stadium that's located up here, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to go into your Google business profile, click this area right here called add update. You want to put a description of different areas on Google where you're not ranking and you want to talk about the jobs that you're doing in that area. So once again, the only way to check is to do a grid report and see in Highland, let's call this Highland Lake right here, right? This is Highland Lake over here, ranking in Highland Lake for automotive lockout service. What you want to do is you want to talk about Highland Lake in your update. You want to pick some things to do in Highland Lake and maybe show a picture of Highland Lake and you want to talk about your service and how you serve that community and you want to post it three to five times a week. Everything starts guys with the scan. The only way you could see where you're ranking and where you're not ranking is to use a scan. You want to make sure that before you start an SEO program, you want to make sure that you take a look at the map and see where Google put the line all around. So you may think, for example, that Sarasota Springs is located in Sarasota, but Google doesn't see that. So you want all your activity coming within this area. You want to get your reviews in this area. You want to try to get any backlinks. So for example, Sarasota Memorial Hospital, maybe they have a way to donate and they'll add a link to your website, like 25 or 50 $50 a year. That's really powerful to get all your backlinks and everything from here, from this area. So you have to put the area in and see where Google is bordering Sarasota or your area. This is really, really important. And the next thing you want to do is you want to run a grid report or see where you're ranking and where you're not ranking for that specific keyword. If you're not ranking in this area, you want to create content on your website in this area for that keyword. Then you want to get reviews mentioning, well, the person writing the review that they were in this area and they used your service in this area and who they dealt with and that they were professional and affordable. Then you want to go over to your Google business profile and click add update and talk about this area and the service that you're trying to rank in this area. Highland Park, right? We said right here for automotive lockout service. We want to create posts for Highland Park and the automotive lockout service that we perform. Guys, I promise if you do this and if you keep on it, you're going to see your rankings improve dramatic, really, really dramatically. So just stay focused and make sure on your website you hammer home all the H tags, the area that you serve and the keyword that you're trying to rank. Okay? None of them should be about us or about our service. It should always say about our locksmith service in, in Sarasota or whatever service you provide. Guys, I hope that helped. I make these videos to help you so you're able to do this SEO work yourself. You're able to increase your leads. With that, you're able to take care of your family because that's the most important thing. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids, tell your family that you love them, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.